Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV. This is where you watch and learn. I'm your Twitter Miss Mukungi. I'm taking you through CRE Form 2. This is our 25th lessons and our topic today is the Jesus teaching in parables and the subtopic is the importance or significance of the parables. On to, le to the lesson objective. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain the significance of use of parables by Jesus in his ministry. Uh, when you're talking about parables, uh, uh, Jesus used parables to teach. A parable is a Greek word. It means comparing or putting side by side in order to understand. A parable is defined as a short story or description which teaches something or answers some questions. It is an allegory or an ugly story with hidden or heavenly meaning. To explain unfamiliar messages in languages that his hearers and uh, his hearers could understand. Uh, another reason why Jesus used parables, he wanted to provoke the critical thinking of his hearers. Uh, another thing, Jesus wanted to make the audience understand issues from a different point of view. Uh, another thing is that Jesus wanted to explain the nature of kingdom of God by giving real life examples. Uh, when also you are talking about reasons why Jesus used parables, for example, at the diagram here or on this picture, you can see an example of a parable. This is the parable of Good Samaritan. And Jesus wanted to teach about the true neighbor or wanted to teach his hearers about who is your neighbor. Uh, another thing why Jesus used parable, we have another example here in the picture whereby it's a, a parable of sower, whereby Jesus wanted to show how people take the word of God from a different perception. Um, another reason why Jesus used parables, he wanted to explain the nature of God. These parables brought out the attributes of invisible God. Another reason God wanted to attract the attention of his audience so that they could listen and understand. Another thing you find that God, Jesus wanted to make people understand how they should relate to one another. Uh, Jesus also used parables to teach God's love to mankind, the parable of the lost sheep and the parable of the lost coin. Uh, he also wanted to identify those who were seen as sincere in seeking the kingdom of God from the onlookers. Another thing you find that he wanted to challenge the imagination of his hearers since the entry to God's kingdom was a personal decision. Also, Jesus used parables to make an indirect attack on his opponents like the Pharisees, the scribes, and the Sadducees. He also taught his disciples using parables so that they could be persistent in prayers and never be discouraged. And finally, he, want to, he wanted to make his teaching interesting and easy to understand. Now we have come to the end of our lessons and today we have an activity. You are supposed to do it in a group of four and here you have to outline the reasons why Jesus used parables. Uh, for more notes, you can refer to KLB book 2, page 66. You can also follow us for more information. You can SMS the number that it's appearing on your screen, 0723144259. Uh, in YouTube, we are there as a Lim TV. In Facebook, find us as a Lim TV. And finally, in Twitter, as a Lim TV underscore KE.